She was just glowing. Everything that she ever dreamed of had come true for her. In my head, my plan was to live the rest of my life with Bethany, and she was going to be my wife, and I was excited about that. To her, Tyler was someone who seemed to be passionately pursuing God and pursuing a meaningful life as much as she was. And that's really what drew her to him. At the wedding, the way she looked at him, it was more than love. It was almost this worship now. It really scared me. My gift and something that is also a curse is that I'm charismatic. I am charismatic. I've owned that from the beginning. I'll own that to the end. I can be electric and magnetic. It can affect people. God told Tyler that our group was specially chosen to show the rest of the world what it looked like to live in community, to be really Christian, to be radical. This is the house in which Bethany and Tyler lived right after they were married. This is when I would say it became a full-blown cult and a very dangerous cult. They did as they were told. They didn't make decisions on their own. Some of the things he was saying were, were incoherent and borderline insane. But when you're there, it's perfectly normal. You've been described as a cult leader. OK. True? I don't think so, no. You don't think the group that you helped form was, was a cult? cult? No. And nobody has used that language who's actually qualified to use it. This is KCTV 5 News. Sheriff's deputies found Bethany Deaton's body in a car at Longview Lake with a plastic bag over her head. This is a newlywed. What newlywed commits suicide by herself in a lake? Something wasn't quite right. Did Bethany take her life? I don't believe she did. This was murder? She didn't die of natural causes, so yes. Bethany and I's relationship was definitely strained, but um, just because it was strained doesn't mean I was murderous. I don't want revenge, and I don't want vengeance. The foundational facts do not point to a murder. I want justice. I want truth. <laughs>